I've started a new project for this week's game, and I've also imported the Playmaker plugin, so we are good to go. And before we start, I want to rearrange my editor a little bit, since this game is going to be sort of uh, played in a, in a portrait mode. Oops. I want it to, to look a bit more like that, because it's going to be, we're going to be using the sort of portrait mode. Imagine if you're looking at a phone, right? So that's that's the first thing. And uh, again, I don't like that color too much. It's just a personal preference, but I can change it to that color, okay? Okay, so let's create some objects in the, in the scene. Um, let's try a capsule for the player. And I'm gonna put it in the, in the center for now. Oh, gotta have lighting. Okay. And uh, let's also start a, create a cube, center it. And that's gonna be our platform. Right, so uh, in a game like Doodle Jump or any sort of jumping style game, you have all these platforms that the player will jump on top of, and then the player kind of, uh, let me see if I can emulate that. The player kind of goes down and then jump to another platform. Imagine if there's another one there, and then keep jumping up and down, right? So, um, so that's going to be the setup. The platform, I want it to be just a little bit wider. Let's see, three. And then maybe just, just for the visual, I want it to be that way as well. Um, just widen, widen it on the Z axis. Okay, I think that, that looks good. I'm going to pull, pull the, the camera back a little bit just so that it doesn't, they don't look so big. Maybe something like that, just for now. Okay, so uh, I'm going to also move the platform down a little bit. Okay, so it's going to be there. Okay, that's good. Um, the next thing we want to do is make sure that the player object reacts to physics. Primarily, we want gravity on the player, right? Because in the game, when you, after you jump up, it sort of gets pulled down by the gravity, right? So it's nice to have some gravity on this player object. Let's go to add component, physics, and add a rigid body. So this is how you can create objects that interacts with uh, physics, right? And then make sure that we have use gravity checked. Okay, so so that's good. Um, optionally, you can, you can freeze rotation uh, if you want to. We can also freeze um, position on the Z axis because we don't, we don't really want him to, want this character to go uh, front and back. But uh, I think for the most part, we're okay for now. I'm not gonna touch that. And uh, let's see if that works. All right, we just want to see if um, the player has some gravity applied to it. Hit play, and yes, it goes down just like that. It's very easy. Right. Uh, so we have gravity on the rigid body on this um, object. The next thing we need to do is create some sort of bounce effect. Right. So when the player comes hits the platform, you want the platform to sort of push the player up. You want the player to go up. Um, so I'm going to do this on the platform object. Uh, there are different ways to do it, but I'm just going to do it here. Oh, I don't have the playmaker edited, so let's, let me just open that up. And uh, let's see. Okay, right. So uh, let's create a state machine, and I'll just call the first one idle, second one uh, push up, push upwards. Right, so when the, the game first starts, I don't want the platform to do anything, right? So the platform is just going to be in the idle state, there's nothing in it, so no actions. Um, but what I do want to do is when there is a collision, Right, so when the player collides with the platform, 
I want to go to the push upwards state. Right? And this is where I'm going to make the player jump. Right? So let's go to Action Browser. And let's go to Physics. And what we want to do here is we want to add force to the, the player object. Right, so it's a little bit different from the translate that we've been using. Um, but basically this adds a force to a object that has a rigid body component. It adds, you can add, use force to control objects that have physics enabled. So basically when they have rigid body, you use force to, to change the way they, they move. Right, so I'm going to specify game object and I'm going to simply drag the player object here. Right, so I'm just dragging that here. And again, you can also use this button and then just select player. And I want it to go upwards. Right, so let's see if um, let's see if we can do 10. And force mode, uh, this is where you want to do, uh, you want to choose one of the four modes. And uh, there are various different options that, uh, different situations you want to use different different modes. Um, let me, um, actually, let me go over that quickly. All right, so we have force, impulse, velocity change, acceleration. Now, if we go to the, the Unity, uh, script reference page. Now, this if you don't use this, that's fine. This is just sort of it's helpful when you're scripting things, when you're coding, and uh, it also helps with um, uh, explaining things. So, um, actually, the first thing that let's do this. Let's click on this question mark from Playmaker uh, to learn a little bit more about this action. Right. So, it says you can change the force on the three axes different modes and uh, if you want to do it on every frame okay now let's take a look at the different modes right, so I'm gonna I'll also post the links uh, to the to the, the, the website so you can see it um, force mode add a continuous force to the rigid body using its mass now let's take a look at the mass first so the player object has a rigid body and has a mass variable here. Click on the question mark, you can see that. What is the mass? It's how, you know, it's, it's, it's basically the, the mass of, of this object and it's arbitrary so you can you can use um, any number you want. Um, but in our example we're going to ignore that so let's continue reading this force mode. Acceleration at a continuous acceleration. We're not actually looking to add a continuous movement. We just want to basically um, just push the object forward once and then we're done right so the other two will probably be a bit more useful for us impulse at an instant force using its mass we're not going to use mass so it looks like we're going to be using velocity change which is an instant velocity change ignoring its mass right so if you if you don't understand all this that's fine um, it actually doesn't really matter which mode we choose right now in this particular scenario, but um, I, I just wanted to show you the different modes that you can use. So let's go with the velocity change. Go back to the platform. I should probably dock this. Okay, it's a bit easier. Okay, so I have to add force action here. And force mode, I'm going to go to uh, velocity change. So that's the one we want to use. Okay, so let's, uh, let's give that a try. Hit play, see what happens. It almost, look like, it almost looks like there's nothing, like nothing happened, but I think it's because the force is so small that you couldn't see the change. Let me, let me pull the camera in a little bit more and I think we can probably see it just to demonstrate. Hit play. Pay attention to this. It's really hard to see. Well, um, let's, let's, let me just change the force and then we can see if that, that was the problem. So that's uh, let's do 100. Right. 
to play. Right, we can see that that changed a little bit. So it, it seems like we're going to need a large um, force here, um, which is uh, not ideal. Let me see if um, what we can do here. I'm going to try using impulse just to see if that makes any difference since the mass is uh, doesn't seem to make a difference. Yeah, it shouldn't matter. So let's see. I think we're just going to have to change this number to a bigger number. I think that would just, uh, that, that should just work. Okay, let's give that a try. Now it's at 500. Right, so um, so that's a bit better. It did bounce. Um, so if, um, it's a little bit larger. Try again. Okay, that's good. But the problem is it only does it once. Uh, well, that's because we only added this once and then it, we sort of kept the platform on this state. So we should sort of have a loop for it to, to go back to the idle state and wait for the collision. Right, so, uh, so let's do that now. Right. Transition finished and then just have it go back. Right. Let's try that. Okay, so that works fairly well. We have this platform that the player will sort of jump on top of automatically. So, so I'm happy with that. That's um, oh wait, look at that. It's now rotating. So this is the problem when we didn't re uh, didn't limit the z position and the rotation on the rigid body. So let's let's do that now. And I don't want it to rotate. Okay, so, so that should fix it. Right, and you can see that the Z axis and the rotations are all staying at zero. Right, so make sure that you do that if you're seeing problems with the player sort of going all over the place. Okay, so that's good. Um, let's move on to the next video.